think also goes to this is there's such a gray area between what is fact and what is law here. And the way that things are being characterized, we're, as the defense, a lot of our hands are tied because we're not even allowed to present the facts that are real. So what does that tell us about the truth coming out or belief in our, in our legal justice system? Yeah, and yeah. I, I'm a defense attorney, so it, it's, it's not easy to look at that and see that a lot of the facts necessary to explain the truth are being withheld well, from not, the jury. Yeah, I think it's not even that they're being, I mean, they're being withheld, but I think what's happened, and I, this is the part where I, where I was really struggling, you know, just to, to try to think about how to talk about this. <laughs> The judge has created a legal construct here, or a, a, a logical construct, which is... Um, only makes sense to him. Only, only makes sense to him, <laughs> so there, there are all these yeah. inconsistencies, and they're, they're, they came up, you know, they started coming up pretty quickly. I think it's going to, it's going to be a constant uh, theme through this whole proceeding, where the, uh, both the prosecution and the defense, but especially the defense, are, are, is going to want to go down a certain pathway, and they'll, they, the prosecution will perhaps say, well, no, you ruled that we can't talk about raw milk, or you ruled we can't talk about intent, or you ruled we can't talk about jury nullification, or you, you know, they're going to be able to bring up all these different rulings, which I think the judges probably can't even keep straight in his own mind. 